Hello and welcome, this is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. In today's video, we're going to talk about what's happening with Bitcoin in the last three weeks since halving. We're going to, I'm going to show you a stock to flow chart and some predictions, uh, what's the present uh, situation. And also, we're going to talk about uh, the fact, what if you would like to find the headquarters of the big exchanges? Uh, there was a journalist who invested in it and wanted to find uh, the office of uh, Bitfinex, one of the largest exchanges, and uh, just couldn't. So this is a, this raised a very interesting question. And also uh, the third topic today, that uh, Donald Trump's uh, tweet was deleted from Twitter. And this is also an interesting uh, thing, how Twitter and social media can actually control the uh, president of the United States. That could be also interesting. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so because I deliver you videos from Monday to Friday every day, the freshest news from uh, Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, right now, uh, let's quick check the market, how it looks like. So, Bitcoin, it's uh, in 0 0.06 uh, minus, so nothing major, $9,556 uh, per Bitcoin. Ethereum went up uh, pretty well, actually, in the last uh, couple of days. I'm going to show you right now real quick. Let's check out the last seven days. Look at that. So actually, it's, it, it, was, it was a nice pump from Ethereum, which is actually the number second uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, then let's go back and uh, check out the winners of the last 24 hours. So Zilliqa uh, plus 11%, uh, Omisgo uh, plus 9%, and uh, Holo we have plus 8%. And then we can look at the losers, Electronum minus 9%, Matic Network uh, minus 9%, and Maker minus 8%. So that's it about the market. And um, the first topic I brought to you, it's about uh, Bitcoin and which way it is going. And, you know, we have here the stock to flow model. And when you look at it, uh, this white line shows where the predictions, which way uh, uh, they assumed it's going to go. And uh, when you look at the dark uh, blue area, then uh, you can see that there are the halvings. So back in 2012, you know, in November, there was another halving in 2016 during the summer. And then we had a halving last month on the 11th of May. And the red dots show uh, right what's happening after the halving. And as you can see, after the first halving, uh, there was a nice increase. After the second halving, it was also an increase. So now we started this red area. And uh, what many people predict is that now is the time for Bitcoin to start to move upward. And uh, how sudden it's going to happen or how soon, it's a good question. You know, these tops, the peaks of Bitcoin price was always reached in between a year, year and a half. So it's not uh, one day to another uh, after the halving. But maybe now we can sooner or later see an upward uh, trend. Also, another thing, uh, there was a tweet uh, from Whale Panda on, on Twitter, and uh, he's actually saying that uh, after the halving, now the mempools are almost empty again, you know, where the transactions are. So that means the miners really working and putting them in blocks. There was one Satoshi transaction confirmed, uh, no mining, uh, that's a spiral, and... Uh, you know, it looks like that the next difficulty adjustment will be less than 10%. So Bitcoin working like it was designed. And uh, this is actually a promising sign. Of course, you don't know when we're going to break through again this $10,000 uh, per Bitcoin uh, level uh, as we were rejected a couple of times uh, now. But uh, these signs look definitely promising for Bitcoin in long term, at least. And uh, now the next news, it's about where in the world is uh, Bitfinex? This is the title of the article I brought here. And uh, there were journalists who actually went to, to Hong Kong because uh, according to the last year's uh, press releases, were held there and they believe that uh, therefore the, the address of the 
Bitfinex headquarters should be there. And uh, there was also a list uh, of the company headquarters and they went three different addresses and they couldn't find the headquarters of iFinex, Bitfinex and Tether. You know, Tether, uh, Bitfinex is behind uh, Tether. And it raised a very interesting question uh, when it comes to big exchanges, as this one's one of the biggest one, uh, Binance and all the others. So first of all, why it's not a good idea to keep your cryptocurrency on an exchange is because uh, if that uh, exchange get hacked, then you know your cryptocurrency can be lost. So it's definitely number one rule, always keep your cryptocurrency on an offline wallet, which is not connected to the internet. This is the only way how you can keep your crypto safe. But the second thing is anything happened to these changes, you know, they somehow shut down from one day to another, uh, how to hunt them down? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great question. Where are they located? Uh, how you can reach them? It's, it's kind of mystery, to be honest with you. So I just uh, wanted to uh, point out this. And uh, the third news, it's rather an interesting one uh, from uh, Twitter, where Vitalik uh, tweeted it, that one of the tweets from Donald Trump, who is the, you know, the president of the United States, was moved by Twitter because said this tweet violated the Twitter rules. And... Um, it's an interesting thing that now Twitter, it's, it's a company and uh, it can actually move uh, the message or the tweet of Donald Trump. So going against the president of the United States. And, you know, these platforms, social media became so strong over the years, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and all the others that actually they have their regulations. And, uh, you know, in this case, uh, you would never think before that a company would just simply uh, something like do that, move a tweet off of Donald Trump, a message what the president posted on his own uh, Twitter side. But it happened in this case, and this is a question, uh, which way social media and its control it's heading right now. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, then please press the like button. Also, you should uh, subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel as we deliver fresh videos in cryptocurrency and uh, blockchain every day from Monday to Friday. Therefore, I'm coming back tomorrow as well. Uh, you know, here you have two other videos uh, you can uh, check or here you can subscribe. And uh, I wish you a great day and see you tomorrow.